Hello YouTubers. So what we have today is a Filipino Army medium Alice pack in DPM camouflage. Now I uh, featured this pack um, before on the channel, but I figured I'd give it its fair dues because it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty nice. Um, pretty nice pack and I'll get to why in a minute so uh, this is a medium Alice pack but compared to a standard US one it's slightly more elongated I don't know if you can tell just a, just a bit you know but um, you know it's uh, just that much where it makes a difference um, the pouches as well will hold a um, canteen with uh, canteen cup and canteen cover easily and really nicely. Uh, whereas I can't do this on my medium Alice pack on uh, on the pouches. Uh, also, it's got these uh, fast X buckles here. So, you know, that's, uh, that's always helpful. Um, and it has them already up here. This is, uh, this came broken, but it still functions perfectly. So I didn't feel the need to replace it. One thing that I'm not really, um, fond about too much is, um, the the inside of the lid I mean as you can see uh, it started to come apart here but the, um, the material for for the flap on the lid is uh, yeah pretty substandard I'd have to say probably one of my main concerns get this there we go as you can see it's just really thin Rain kind of everywhere. See that? So yeah, that's just uh, pretty, pretty um, terrible quality. But overall, I mean, the fabric feels like a really heavy-duty Cordura, and uh, it has this somewhat rubberized coating on the inside. Really, really heavy duty, kind of like nice Cordura fabric. This is uh, really great against, you know, shrubs and what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of, uh, whatever kind of greenery you're uh, cruising through, you know, in the wild, in the woods, in the jungle. So I really do like the, the fabric quality on it. And as I said, it has uh, the slightly longer profile compared to a medium Alice pack um, compared to a standard US medium Alice pack um, also it features a little zipper down here which is in this case really heavy duty I've never had an issue with it I don't actually use it uh, I have to say but you know as you can see no issues there, you know, really nice heavy duty zipper. Don't believe it has a brand or anything for it, but yeah. Yes, and this flap to cover it, which is really nice. Um, what else could I showcase? The only thing I've done is add paracord uh, here because it just had some really cheap rope and not even a cinch buckle. Which, yeah, again, I added the cinch buckle, I added the paracord, and now it's, uh, it's pretty good, like so. On the inside, though, it doesn't feature any um, snow hood or snor storm flap. Um, just standard closing, like uh, your regular Alice packs. One thing that I'm not completely fond about, though, is the webbing, the quality of the webbing. Compared to, say, Alice Pack 
standard US house pack webbing as you can see that's really good mil spec webbing heavy duty whereas this is yeah it just feels cheaper you know cheap cheap and cheaper quality uh, what can I say just not crazy about that another thing that I wasn't crazy about were the um, shoulder straps which were quite thin on the padding and also just quite short as you can see uh, also the quality of the um, of the Alice buckles I mean I could bend these with my hand probably yeah if I put enough uh, enough strength on it I could definitely bend these with my hand so yeah just cheap and thin really really thin compared to you know your Alice your Alice buckles which are you know nice and thick and heavy duty mil spec quality um, buckles so yeah um, so what I did there is just replace um, replace these with a woodland um, Alice uh, shoulder straps and the frame I replaced the frame because it was uh, it came with a broken frame which I repaired and uh, that was uh, the very first video that I actually made for this channel um, but I replaced it with an Italian army rucksack frame um, I talked about this uh, mod in a previous um, in a previous video but yeah this frame works uh, really nicely it slots in there and uh, just gives it a nice modern feel and modern look to it um, and it's perfect for this kind of size because it kind of um, kind of has the same um, profile as a large Alice pack as I said it's a bit uh, longer than um, than a medium but at the same time it's slim uh, just like a medium Alice pack and so the way um, the way this frame works is just uh, yeah really really nicely I'll link um, I'll link the rucksack in question in in the video in case you don't know uh, um, what I'm talking about but yeah um this frame works like a charm on this pack and these shoulder straps yeah definitely an improvement and as you can see it doesn't really um you know it kind it it does an all right job of blending in with the camouflage i have to say let's see what it looks like next to the bergen this is one of my or rather this is my british bergen i want to see the difference in dpm camouflage as you can see there it's kind of darker you know a bit more like you know rusty brown in certain bits you know compared to maybe a bit more earthy brown on uh, my uh, British Bergen here but the pattern is there you know especially the green and the tan I really like the shade of tan on here it gives it really that disruptive pattern uh, feel and uh, yeah I really like this kind of camo I have to say let's see if I can stand this thing up yeah compared to the British Bergen yeah it just has that rusty brown um, tone to it even the green has a, has a different shade but I quite like it nonetheless so um, yeah another thing uh, to mention um, I had a broken buckle here but I haven't felt the need to replace it because it works just fine so I wouldn't um, I wouldn't really feel the need to do anything about this um, in another case as well I, I think what, what else did I uh, do on this thing right oh rather another thing that I want to do is maybe have some stitching 
right along here and on the other side as well to kind of hold the shoulder straps better in place and not have this happening you know if I have this stitched on the very sides so I can slip through um, the load lifter but still have still have it nicely stitched so it retains a bit more of the of the strength you know just around here that's probably the last mod that I would have done on this pack um, I kept the waist pad because you know nothing wrong with this waist pad and oh here is the insignia Let's see if this thing focuses Alright, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Philippines. Yep. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with the waist pad. And, um, that works like it should. And for a medium Alice pack, you know, I think, um, I think it will do just fine, you know. The shoulder straps definitely uh, are more than enough for this uh, for this model, just because you can't really um, overload a medium mouse pack. You know, it's it's just about that right weight that you can carry. Uh, you know, a day's worth of whatever, so it'll do. Um, what else can I say about this pack? think that's about it really um, so I guess I hope you enjoyed this little video on uh, on this pack and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching